So, um, the whole purpose of me doing YouTube videos is not, I don't, I'm not an expert in the area of food and nutrition. Um, really what this is about is it's, it's helpful for me as well as I, I hope that it may be of some help for those who are watching my videos and that is I am a vegan on a vegan journey and along that journey I became a low-fat vegan and a low-fat raw vegan to some extent um, and of course when you are traveling down this path you you will face challenges and you will have questions and I think YouTube is a great format to um, discuss those challenges and try to find answers to those questions and so by me coming on YouTube um, and doing these vid videos that are not edited it's I'm just here basically having a conversation it's a dialogue and when you leave a comment um, that's sort of you at your end participating in the dialogue and I, I have to say you know that the comments have been really helpful for me and um, so you know it's not so much that I'm here to give you instruction or to tell you what to do that I am an authority on the subject of 80 10 10 raw food veganism um, it's that uh, I'm here to talk about the issues and maybe bring some light to it maybe bring some insight based on what I've experienced with my journey so I think you know that's where I want to make clear what this is this these uh, YouTube videos are about and what grassroots vegan is about it's about my vegan journey and where it's taken me um, so on that note I did receive a comment um, recently with regards to the video I put up um, about you know is it okay to drink your own pee and um, well here let me read it to you and this is well, I just have to move my this over a little bit so I can read this okay uh, this is from raw food sun gazer and uh, he left a comment saying perhaps you should try drinking your own urine it seems ignorant to make a blanket statement about it and not have any experience with it at all the people of the South did the same type of thing and it was labeled segregation imagine someone watching your video and seeing your green smoothie or green juice and saying that it's disgusting without being open to even even trying its benefits you made a video on urine please step up and try to give an opinion and not a bigoted statement Wow I was not expecting that and of course you know when you you get a, a comment like that you're sort of put up against the wall and you know you you get a little bit of defensive right but then when I really thought about what um, raw food sun, raw, raw food vegan sun gazer was saying I had to examine myself was that video now the video I was just talking about um, you know in a light-hearted manner uh, people who believe in that drinking their urine can be quite therapeutic for health reasons and um, and I, I guess you know in the manner in which I did it was condescending and um, a little bit arrogant and Kate probably probably did come across as bigoted and the last thing on earth I want to be on YouTube is 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 to be especially big bigoted and to be you know close-minded I mean the reality is, is I don't know a lot about urine therapy it just when I first came across these videos on YouTube it was you know it seemed bizarre and I just made that quick judgment that these people are insane you know this is crazy and yet without really stopping and 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 
being open to at least you know hear what they had to say about the topic and and, and so I'd have to say to uh, Rob, Rob Food Vegan Sungazer, thank you for setting me straight in, in this. Um, yeah, I, I, I want, I mean, if anything, you know, it's, it's my top priority to be open-minded and to be tolerant of other people and their views. I don't have to agree with what they're doing, but to be tolerant. And if you come across with an attitude of arrogance and mockery towards the other person, um, then that is not being tolerant and open-minded. Now, I mentioned in the video that the only time I would ever drink my, my own urine would be in a, in a case of an emergency where I'm stranded somewhere and there's no um, evidence of there being any clean drinking water, so I'd have no choice but to drink my own urine in order to survive. But I thought about it afterwards, and there's actually another form of survival which may require you to drink your own urine. Again, I am not qualified, I don't know, but that is in the area of having a health issue. Um, you know, would I drink my own urine if it were the only option to heal a condition that I have? And I, and I guess the answer is yes, I probably would, if it was. Like, I, I, I like to believe that if you're eating a, a healthy diet of fruits and vegetables and you're well hydrated and you're exercising, you have, you have a good attitude about life, um, everything seems well balanced in your life, that that should be enough to deal with most health issues. But you know what? I'm probably wrong in that area. And um, like drinking your own urine to deal with a health issue is far more benign, I would imagine, than getting chemo for, let's say, cancer, um, which is highly toxic to the body, and yet people do it readily. They, they will go and they will poison their body with chemotherapy just for the hope of getting rid of the cancer so that they can live longer. So if your own urine offered the same kind of hope and the same kind of odds, what would you do? <laughs> poisoning yourself with chemotherapy or radiation therapy or would you try something like first maybe try drinking your own urine again I haven't been put in that position so but I, I'm beginning to understand that yes you know there might this might be an option I again I don't know anything about the subject and, and this is where I was I was out of line on that video um, you know where I was more or less mocking those who believe in it and uh, take it seriously. So I apologize for that. I was wrong. Thank you, uh, Raw Food Vegan Sun Gazer, for again setting me straight. Um, very much appreciated. And I do look forward to your comments. And um, yeah, have a great day. God bless and peace be with you.